So it's real. I am so close to giving birth. And it made me come in here to think, you know, maybe for those of you that know me, would like to know a little bit about what my birth plan is. I know it may not be something that you want to know, especially if you're a guy, so I totally understand it. But if you're following, I hope that part of my life can be helpful for you and yours someday. So I'm Leslie Urbis. I'm a registered dietitian, personal trainer. I'm a mama to one baby girl, and I am about to have a baby boy. And it just prompted me to think, maybe I should share a little bit about my personal life with you. So I am... 30 something weeks pregnant and I'm super close to giving birth. And I really thought about the birthing process. There's a lot of moms out there that do water births or at home natural births or they get doulas, etc. And none of those things are really me. And it sometimes makes me think, am I crazy? Am I weird? Am I somebody that shouldn't, you know, do those things? Should I should I consider them? And it hit me that I'm just another person that prefers a type of birthing style. So that's really why I decided to come on here is that the thought process is, is that you don't have to follow what other people are doing for their birth process. Maybe you automatically know that you don't like pain and you want the epidural and you want to be at the hospital and you want to know that you have all the medications there just in case anything goes wrong. And you know what, mom? That's perfectly fine. No one should be shaming you for that. Maybe you're a mom that's already had a C-section and it makes you nervous to think about having a birth another way. So you're like, I just wanna do the C-section. And that's totally okay too. So in my personal experience, we had our daughter last July, and last July, two Julys ago, sorry, she's two now. and. I never thought I would have a C-section. No one in my entire family, years upon years, ever had a C-section. And at 3 a.m. in the morning, on a Sunday morning, July 15th, the doctor looked at me and said, your baby's heart rate is dropping and we are gonna need to do a C-section. It's not an emergency, but we are gonna get everything prepped and ready and it's something important for us to do. I remember being shocked, like, okay, well, if that's what we need to do, we can do it. But it broke my heart because I wasn't a C-section mom. That's not who I was. It wasn't something that was in my birth plan, in my mind. And it broke my heart. And for about two weeks, when no one was looking, I cried to myself about the fact that I almost felt like I was a failure for having to have that C-section. However, I was staring at the most beautiful baby girl and I knew that without it, she may not be here. In those first 90 seconds post C-section, I heard the word baby, felt her come out, and I heard zero crying. As I heard zero crying, I knew something was wrong. After about 30 seconds, I started saying Hail Marys in my head, thinking, I just hope she's okay. My husband was looking over to the left and I could see that he was staring at something. I tried to follow his eyes across the room, but I couldn't get very far and I could barely move my own head. As I was staring over there, hoping that something would happen, I eventually heard a tiny little cry. The doctors walked her over to me, showed her to me, and within three seconds, the baby and Ian were out the door and up the stairs to go do a bunch of tests to make sure that she was okay. I remember sitting there on the table while they were stitching me up, thinking and wondering and crying. They took me back to the room where I was uh, in the labor and delivery and to fix me up and to finish everything. And the nurse said, you should sleep. And I looked at him with very kind eyes and tears in them and said, how can a mom sleep at a time like this? I'm supposed to have a baby in my arms. Not gonna cry, I promise. Anyways, so then I asked him for my cell phone, which was across the room. He handed it to me, and at 4.30 in the morning my time, 3.30 in the morning my mom's time, on her birthday, which is when my daughter was born, I called her crying. So, to me, I'm here today because 
I know what it's like to be heartbroken when you plan your birth plan and it doesn't go your way. So this time, I don't really have a plan. My plan is be as healthy as I possibly can and hope that he has a different beginning. Now, Lily is alive and she is very good and very happy and nothing was wrong after the 90 seconds of CPR. She breathed, had no broken lungs and everything was fine and we got to take her home just as such. So while my story ends on a positive note, my thought process with this one is, I don't wanna go into it thinking that I'm gonna have it a certain way. I do agree that doulas are helpful. I agree that having your birth plan is helpful as well. But for someone who likes to plan as much as me, this is just one thing I feel I am not allowed to plan. I feel that God has a way of making it all work out. So for my husband and myself and my son, we have a plan and that plan is to go in as strong as we possibly can and to come out healthy, happy, and with a new addition. Today, I would love to go into regular labor. I would love to have a natural birth and have absolutely no epidural because that's what I wanted with my first. But if I don't wind up that way and I wind up having another C-section, I'm not going to make myself feel as bad as I did before because there are some things that aren't in your control. And no matter what happens, no matter who tells you that you need to do things a certain way, remember, this is your story and your birth, and there's absolutely no reason why you need to be ashamed of it. Again, I'm Leslie Urbis, and while this has absolutely nothing to do with nutrition and fitness, it is a personal story of mine because I would like for you to get to know me a little bit more and to understand that while I am a personal trainer and a dietitian, I'm still a normal human like you and I want you to achieve as many goals as you possibly can in this life. And right now with our birth right around the corner and him kicking through my side and having hiccups right now, I want you to know that you are never alone when it comes down to your diet, your fitness, or your life. There's someone out here there, me, Leslie Urbis, your personal coach, who is ready to hear your story and why you need a little bit of extra coaching, pushing, and loving. I hope you enjoyed that story, and if you made it all the way through and you've had a birth yourself, I'd love to hear about it below. Just shoot me a comment. Or again, click the link and go to my page and shoot me a message. I'd love to hear about your birth story and get to know you a little bit more. I hope you're having a fabulous day. And after you watch this video, I hope I get to talk to you about my second birth and let you know how that one went. I'm super excited and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Happy baby. <laughs> I don't really know.